just as Computex Taipei, one of the largest computer and technology trade shows in the world, closes concerns about the lean yet fragile semiconductor supply chain are growing. As America and China compete for technology dominance, this is a good moment to examine the potential repercussions of geopolitical tensions on this critical industry, emphasizing the delicate balance between strategic autonomy and economic efficiency. Hello everyone and welcome back to Procurement in the Park. I'm Christian Shu, and today we dive into the heart of a technological and geopolitical showdown that is reshaping the global landscape. The semiconductor chip wars between the United States and China. A while ago, I had the privilege of visiting the Sinchu Science Park in Taiwan, home to the world's largest chip producer. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC. I remember being impressed by the huge fabrication plants or fabs built on what once were rice fields. And just across the street, I saw the buildings of the who's who in the semiconductor supply chains, with the logos of ASML, Tokyo Electron, and Avantest, among many others. However, just weeks before Computex, China was simulating a military encirclement of Taiwan. And while the threat of military action looms, sanctions, subsidies and tariffs, tools of geopolitical rivalry, further threaten to disrupt the semiconductor supply chain that has been honed over decades. This supply chain stretches from East Asia to America and Europe with Taiwan at its center. This network extends far beyond Taiwan. As highlighted by The Economist, companies in South Korea and Japan play crucial roles, contributing to nearly a third of the equipment and more than half of the materials used in chip manufacturing. Even China supplies raw materials like polysilicon, while America provides the sophisticated chip designs powering our digital world. During Computex Taipei, industry leaders expressed concerns about the growing geopolitical tensions. Taiwan's ICT supply chain, particularly in AI development, remains robust, but the potential for disruption is high. Charles Liang of Supermicro emphasized the importance of Taiwan in the expansion plans reflecting the broader industry's reliance on the one despite geopolitical risks. Paul Bang, chairman of AEO, highlighted how the one has become a key information hub for Western executives due to restricted access to China. This year's theme, Connecting AI, showcased the one's advancements in AI computing, advanced connectivity, and immersive reality, further cementing its role in the global tech landscape. In The Economist, Schumpeter warns of a world divided into two semiconductor blocks, America on one side and China on the other, each trying to replicate this intricate network independently. It is hard to imagine. Even America's staunch allies, the one South Korea and Japan, are deeply tied to China as a semiconductor market. They would be reluctant to sever these ties, except under extreme circumstances. And a full decoupling would be costly. One standout feature of the chip supply chain is its efficiency, as big powers offer large subsidies to reshoring semiconductor manufacturing. The delicate economics could be disrupted. Subsidies from America's Chips and Science Act have already enticed DSMC to invest in Arizona at a projected cost of 65 billion US dollars. While diversifying operations beyond the one makes strategic sense, America's high construction and labor costs pose significant challenges. Moreover, attracting the hundreds of suppliers required for semiconductor manufacturing to the Arizona desert will be expensive and difficult. As Schumpeter points out, cultural differences further complicate this picture. 
in the one semiconductor engineers are known for the dedication, dropping everything day or night to fix issues. This commitment helped the industry survive several earthquakes and the COVID-19 pandemic with minimal disruption. Outside of the one, there's a greater emphasis on work-life balance and finding enough qualified semiconductor engineers is itself a challenge. As we conclude today's episode, it's clear that the semiconductor supply chain stands at a critical juncture. The equilibrium between strategic autonomy and economic efficiency hangs in the balance, with the USA and China vying for dominance. How this unfolds will shape the future of technology and global trade. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the complexities of the semiconductor chip wars. I'm Christian Shu, and this has been Procurement in the Park. <laughs>